What's up, everyone? Another way back, more satisfactory for you. Season 2, Episode 15, coming at you today. We're going to do some really cool things. Steel Mill A and B are done. Those were two episodes ago. That area of the factory is looking sweet with the trains and everything. The sweet off-ramp we I put in there, Jesse and I. Uh, well, Jesse helped me design that off-ramp. It's pretty awesome. Um, so now we have what we need to finally get some more milestones done. So today, first thing we're going to do, as you can see, I uh, updated the to-do list. Tons of new stuff on there. Um, a lot of it's going to be redact like reductive stuff that we've kind of already done, but, it, but we're basically upgrading. Like... Um, new smeltery is going to be obvious because I want steel to really get get pumped up there. I want that to really get pumped, get pumped, and then that also prepares us for the ironworks and the copper works. But really, before then, I would like to do a new concrete area because I'm building a bunch of new buildings out there. I'm building a whole bunch of railway and stuff, and I'm running back and forth every five seconds for concrete mostly. So um, I kind of maybe want to do that before smeltery, but I'm not ready to do it. I've already built the smelt smelting factory, so plus with the concrete, I haven't really figured out where I want to do it. I could actually just do an offshoot on the other side of the global, right into the concrete thing. That could work, but I really want to do it with the other factories. So I'm gonna have to think about that a little harder. But let's let's get some of these milestones done. As you can see, I picked up a whole bunch of stuff getting ready for these milestones. Let's get a bunch of pipes and beam in here, although I don't think it's many, need as many beams as we do pipes. And let's get the advanced steel production done, and we just do this, and here we go. Boom, we're gonna basically kill tier four today. Miles Boom, you're gone, get out of here. So the next thing we wanna do is, let's see, what do we wanna do next? There's actually gonna be 10 minutes in between, so I don't, well, what we can do in between then First, I guess, get some more sheeting. It looks like we're going to need it. Then we should make some of these encased industrial beams. It's going to take a second. Because this is a no-brainer, but we can't shove that in just yet. So let me make the encased beams. I guess first we can uh, get the copper sheeting we're going to need. Probably just uh, pick up another stack, I guess. There we go. That's no big deal. And then I'm probably going to make some encased beams... Man, reminds me of the old days back in episode one when we had to craft up all that stuff by hand. That's what that reminds me of. Pretty cool. I got a hundred of them because um, I'm probably going to be using those where I'm going to need those definitely for hyper tubes. So why don't we pick up some more stuff here and I'm just going to dump this for now because I want to get some train unlocks done as well. And we're going to need, let's dump that for beacons. While we're waiting for this thing to come back, let's get some MAM research done. Progressive Train's going to get some upgrades here. This is going to make these guys go faster. 15 uh, megawatts, but they're going to go up to 60 kilometers per hour. So that gives us like a 50% speed boost. It's kind of a no-brainer. That's one minute. Let's check the other ones. Let's see if they're one minute as well. Okay, they're all one minute. I don't think I can do this one yet. i got to make motors. So let's just start that one, I guess, and then let's go see what we can do or need to do. Uh, we can get tickets. That's one thing we can do. I think I already got, no, I got four tickets. Let's see if we want to um, do something with those. And you can see right here is where I stuck in a bunch of smart plates just to generate more tickets. I mean, I'm producing those really off camera anyway. There's I just throw the stuff in and, and I get them for free basically. So why not, right? Uh, let's see what we can get with these guys that we still need because we really don't need a lot. Maybe the billboard. Oh, we just unlocked some stuff. That's, that's true. We actually probably are going to unlock quite a few alt recipes too, so it's going to be time to go get some hard drives again. Floodlights, not my favorite thing. They are very bright, but I really like the indoor lighting and the street lights. The lights control panel would be kind of neat. I think billboard set, you know, those are really giant though. I really want to, uh, kind of want to save for those. Those are pretty cool. Um, three, Mark three uh, is coming soon. Inverted ramp set? This looks like there's something added here. Alright, let's keep going. See if there's anything else new. Structural frame, still elusive there. Um, it's for 10, though. Nothing. Ooh! Glass roof material. Was that better than billboard? I don't think so. I think billboard's probably better at this point because what I want to do is uh, 
I want to start li labeling our factories since we're going to have a whole bunch of them over there. Um, do we need anything? Not really. Kind of just chilling. Uh, let's see if this guy has any more. Well, first got to put some stuff down. Let's uh, maybe throw, throw some stuff in this box. We just really don't have any space. Let's go see if we got any more smart plates. They don't craft up that fast. Yeah, see, they don't craft very quickly. But I have loaded this thing up. It's going to make us a hundred, like a hundred, a hundred, a bunch of these guys. So let's throw this in the trash. Get some of that stuff going. And then let's see if the man research is done. It should be just about done here. Oh, yeah, it's done. Okay. So the next thing we're going to want to do is increase, um, you know, the size of the cars, right? How much, how much the cars can hold. That's going to increase, I think it it increases it by basically 50% right here. So 50% more speed, 50% um, more capacity. And so that is going to help with throughput. Especially because when we're going after coal and other resources like ore specifically, that time to get back to factory, time between the team bases is really going to affect, like time between the ore station and the uh, smeltery, let's say, is going to really affect our throughput, which is going to affect everything else downstream, right? And it is interesting that I'm finding, if I just put buildings next to each other, there's really no reason to train these things around. When you're doing dealing with the initial kind of building blocks of items, like steel pipes, um, iron plate, you know, these kind of things, they really only need one thing. Another thing I'm noticing is, um, iron ingots are used in the initial um, building blocks of things, but they're never used again. So just put the building that has the tier one objects or whatever right next to the building with the iron ingots, and then you never have to move them around the system at all because they're just not needed anywhere else ever. So this guy's going to upgrade our um, things. So I want to say, yeah, okay, 36 slots. We're getting two more lines out of that. This has four? Three. Wait. Three times nine is 27. Are these eight slots a piece? That would be very strange because I thought all inventory was nine slots. Anyway, yeah, see, that goes to nine. This should be 27. Well, this gets a... Maybe that's a typo. It's probably 27. Anyway, we're going to get 25% um, more there. So that's going to help. Not only in through and being able to store everything that those trains are being bringing in but also to store enough for trains to take out large amounts of those items right so that's going to be great too um the level the next level here is going to be oh heavy modular frames so heavy modular frames are after manufacturers that's way down the line for us and then what's down here yeah computers actually we could go those well they're the same tier really so when we get heavy modular frames, we should also be able to get computers, and we'll just get both of these at the same time. Motors, definitely going to come before this, which I think is interesting how they did the tree, because this guy is actually easier to do than this guy. So you would think they would space it out, but I guess not. Uh, computers, okay. And then aluminum. And then supercomputers down here. So that makes a lot of sense. Ooh, aluminum's this number four here. That's not... I don't think that's the same tier, really, but that's fine. Computers and motors on this one. Okay, that makes sense. So we got the train upgrades we can get. Let's look at... I really want to get this um, sulfur unlocked, too. I don't have any sulfur, so I'm just going to have to wait. Uh, I can get that, but I'm not going to get it yet. For one, I have no reason to get it. And two, I don't have all the stuff, necessarily. Let's get nutri nutritional processor. I'm not even. I don't even remember what this does. Okay, great. We have those. Let's go get them. I think they're in here. Yeah, we just ditched them because really that we don't have any use for them right now. All right, let's get that unlocked just to unlock the whole tree. That medical inhaler, I think, refills our life to full. I think. Yeah, we can do the medicinal inhaler now. Um, uh, we can't really do that. I'm not sure. What does this get us? Oh, like parachute and other things. We need that later. We don't really need it right now. And then let's, let's do a couple unlocks we can do just because we have the stuff on us, right? Here's another one. These are Caterium unlocks. Let's just get these. We need the plastic for that next one. 
We can also, well, I need AI lim limiters for this, and, and I'm not going to screw around with this because it's not that big of a deal. I do want power switches, but we don't need them, okay? Um, I do want this because it's going to get us another equipment slot, so that uh, that's great. Let's just get, that's kind of a lot of steel beams, but that's, is it 500? Pretty sure it is. Yeah, that's, that's not cheap. But that's okay, it's totally worth it. Really want to get some more inventory space. Yeah, I know. But we're not there yet, so it's fine. Alright, so we did a whole bunch of with these. A lot of unlocks. Let's get some more unlocks. Let's get Logistics Mark III. This is going to be a no-brainer here. Just every, It's super simple. And boom. Cool. Now we got to wait 10 minutes for that. Or it's only 5 minutes. That's good. We're out of beams. Well, we're not out of beams. But now I think I can create the industrial um, storage units. So we'll be swapping out the trains with those. Now I have double entry and exit. So the trains will unload a lot faster. Uh, let's see what we got left, which is just hyper tubes. We need 300 tubes. We can get those, no problem. And that'll clear out tier 4. We'll be done. There we go. Let's fill up on Caterium wire or quick wire. Because we've been spending it. Maybe get some... Let's start... Uh, Re, uh, resupplying here a little bit just so we can get ready to go uh, back and start building alright and it's done so why don't we shove these in real fast to get this last tier 4 done and then we're really just going to be working on um, completing phase 2 of the space elevator which actually I think I'm going to set up a couple things just to build you know the versatile what I'm going to do that at base here in fact let's just do that right now but first let's get this milestone done and boom, tier four is complete, all the way done. So let's set up a couple more assemblers. And we're gonna set up versi versatile frameworks first, and then we'll set up, I guess, this guy. Uh, and we, we can fit that in. I don't, I don't think we need to care about how, eh, let's just do that. So if we put this guy here, can we just shove a guy in right here? Why don't we move this dude? Well, let's go look at what he's got in, in him first. Oh, yeah, we could totally pick that guy up. Let's pick this up. And let's put this guy right next to that guy. And then we can probably put one here. Yeah, see? There we go. Now they'll play nice with each other. So what we have to do now is we'll just put this back in as a um, tier 2 belt for now. We don't need to screw around too much. There we go. Uh, for these guys, uh, they're a little off-center, right? A little bit. That's directly in, but this is not. I'm not sure. That really, I don't. I don't really care. I don't really care. So let's let's hook up the. And actually, we, what we can do is upgrade this, so we can actually have more connections. Then what we'll do is we'll just bring this down here, which really we should be bringing it off. Probably this guy. Let's give him more connections, too, just because I don't want to mess around here. Let's go to here. Actually, we don't do that, huh? We usually go two. Actually, we want to do it like this. Like that, and then from there... Hmm, that goes all the way down. How did we do this one? Oh, we just drew it to there. Okay, well, we're going to do this, then. We're going to grab this. And just draw it to here. And just power both these guys. Pretty sure we're going to need to upgrade to, to coal soon. But it's fine. We'll just do this for now. We want... Oh, that's the wrong one. Oh, that's right. It copied It copied its, uh, its recipe. But what we want is versatile framework in this guy. And in this guy we want automated wiring. Staters. We don't have staters. Which means we're going to have to make a new one. What does this guy need? Modular frames, steel beams. We have that. I don't have them on me, really. It's not just... I have one stack. That could work. So we'll put frames in here. I don't know. Let's put, like... How many frames does it need? So it needs... Okay, le a lot less frames than steel beams. Not even ten, okay? So we really only need about a stack of... Okay, we only need a stack of fifty. We'll put two hundred steel beams in here. 
So let's go do this here. Let's just do tier two. That guy should start churning, actually. And then let's just box it up. Like that. Let's get one more box. This is going to have to be staters, though. We're going to need... Don't we need motors for staters? I'm not sure we can do this. We need staters and cable. We have cables, so let's look at staters. Oh, that's just pipe and wire. Okay, we have to do one more, then. So what we should end up... What we should really do... Uh... Mm, we don't need that much. We just need two. All right. What we should do is feed this guy directly into the other guy. So this is steel pipe and wire. We can do that, no problem. I think the difference here is going to be... See, that's offset. If you do that, it's offset a little bit. I don't think that... Yeah, it just is what it is. Okay, cool. So that's going to be wire. That's going to be steel pipe, which I have some on me. Well, it's in the... Did I get it all? No, I didn't. I left it in there. We can actually start making some of these staters, and then I'll just feed this directly into the other assembler. We won't have to worry about it. So I know this is kind of jank, but I'm okay with that. I really just want to get... Um, I just want to get the unlocks done. What we don't, I don't like is what happened in Season 1, and this happens in almost all these building games, is you don't do the build... You wait. You're like, oh, I have bigger fish to fry, right? And and then you need it, and you gotta wait for a thousand years to actually build them. I don't I don't want to do that. So we're just gonna like load these up now and create them now. Let's give that guy a fifteen hundred of that. That's already gonna make itself. No big deal. Thought it was. Wait, what? There we go. Yeah, those are gonna make themselves. We only need a hundred of these, but that's okay. Are we going to need staters for any other builds right now? I don't think so. Oop, that's not it. So if we go end stater. If we look at staters. Well, we can't really look at what it crafts. Now, oh, see, that doesn't really work. Let me just look up staters real fast. Uh, and satisfactor factor. Satisfied. Okay. Just really, really fast. Wait, what? Yeah, do that. What are you doing? I want to see what they're what they are, how they're what they're used in. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Chrono rod. That's not till tier eight. Okay, ro uh, motors, but we don't need those right this second. So we will might we might need them. Probably not. We're not going to hand. We're not going to need them to produce anything by hand. We're just going to need them for um for this build specifically right now. So we're not going to box these. Like, that was really why I wanted to know that. Let's get some of these guys crafting up here. There we go. And then we're going to wrap this around and do this guy again. This guy is going to make automated wire. Stator and cable. So we really only need one box. That's going to kind of clip, but I'm okay with that for now. This is not a permanent build. Uh, let's put this over here to signify that it, the other ingredient is going to come from this side. Uh, let's do it like this. We're going to want it right there, right? One, two. We'll make it as nice as possible, but yeah, it's going to clip a little bit. And then we're probably going to have to uh, do something funky with this. It's not going to want to go in. See, it's like too tight. It's like, no. Wait. Is it going up? Why is it going up? Boggle. I'm not really sure. I'm sure I'm sure that was user error. Alright, so yeah, that'll work, but while well, I'm already clipping. Ah, it just feels bad, man. It won't do that. Can I go out then? Can I do that? No, it won't do that either. Hmm. Could just move this over a tiny amount. That's probably the, the play right there. Alright, let's just... Mm, man, I don't want to move this over. Alright, fine, let's do it. Let's just move this over a tiny bit. 
Like that, maybe. Just the tini tiniest of amounts here. It still wants to clip. We have to redraw this, too. First, I want to see... Can I get in? And we're going to need that, so let's copy this guy. No. All right, so, I want to know... Actually, we can do it this way. What's the tightest thing? Oh, there we go, right there. And then just go up to here. And there's a little bit of clipping, but I'm cool with it. Now we just need this. And uh, we want automated wire. And let's put another box in. And there we go. Now we're making everything we need. And we didn't need another one of these. It's funny. That's funny. Now we're making everything we need. Staters. How come it's not going in? Uh, all right. Well, let's do this, I guess. Is that better? Let's put the staters back in. I don't need these staters. There we go. And then he needs cable. Is that right? Yeah, cable. Let's go get some cable. We'll drop a whole bunch of that in there. Like that or something. Well, that's all of the cable. We don't want... We don't want you to have all of it. There we go. It's not going in. No power. Well, I have to, you know, yeah, yeah. Kind of have to have power. <laughs> that would make sense. All right, let's power this thing. Let's just do this like we've done in the past. And I don't have any wire now because I gave it all my wire. Let's just go get some more wire. All right, now do I get to build? Is it okay, dudes? <laughs> All right, let's build one of these guys, maybe to there, and then let's do that. There we go. That's why it wouldn't, wouldn't build. So that's going to get us automated wiring. Not fast or anything, but it's going to get us automated wiring. This guy is already out of steel. That's okay. I'll eventually need to come back here to get concrete anyway. We will get that all the way done. And then here's what we've got going over here is... Uh, I've got this box set aside with the, the ingredients set aside to um, do this next phase with the elevator. So we're going to let those cook up. And I'm not going to be able to cook up any of the steel stuff, really. Just a little bit. Um, the automated wiring, mostly. Um, man, one ticket. I really need two. But that's okay. I'll be back again off camera, I'm sure. Sweet. So those are all the upgrades. The milestones are done. Let's check that off. And then now we can go build a new smeltery. It's going to be awesome, and I will see you there in a second. So here we are at the smeltery. You can see that there's those are the two steel uh, mills, basically A and B right there, working really harmoniously together, obviously. All the steel made here just makes steel products. The steel ingots don't go anywhere else. Here's the thing about the smeltery, though, that I just thought about on the way over here, is that iron ingots are used for steel and iron products right so I was gonna do like half the iron dedicated to iron products the other half dedicated to steel but that's actually um, not a great way to think about it because I would rather have a train be able to service either of those things so if the iron work starts getting hit really hard a train can just go get all the iron ingots it needs and just feed it with like all the iron I could possibly feed it right and if steel gets starts getting hit, it can do the same thing for steel, right? So that's actually what I'm going to do. Is I'm going to I am going to set up a train to deliver steel ingot or iron ingots because I think it's just a better idea. I think it's better cuz I'm going to have two buildings that need the same thing. Whenever I only have a built like only one thing that needs it, like copper um like copper works only needs copper ingots, doesn't need they don't need those anywhere else. It's not like there's just a copper steel ingot or something like that like it's only used in those few items and that's it then I'm gonna dedicate all the ingots to that one building I don't need a train it's just it only has one destination just make it go across right that's super simple uh, but this has two so I'm gonna do it a different way now I haven't finished this building because one I ran out of stuff I ran out of concrete but two I really wanted to get all the steel stuff back and get all those unlocks done uh, but you can see this is already pretty much ready so what I need to do first, and I actually thought of a different way I wanted to design this. I'm probably just going to have to redesign it later, is 
I want multiple trains to be able to come in here, right? Um, so... How is that going to work? Yeah, each of the, of the demand stations are going to have their own train. So if they both demand iron at the same time, I need to be able to have one wait for the other. But I have nowhere for this thing to wait. What I should do... Actually, no, that's not true. If they come in this way and go around to the station, one of them can be waiting right here while the other one's filling up. The problem will be that now if any other train comes while it's waiting, everything gets locked up, it'll start backing up. So I'm going to have to think of probably a better way to do this, and I don't have a solution right now. Interesting. I mean, one thing I could do if I really had to is... Let's say I build the stations right here, right? Which I'm probably going to end up doing. I can reroute this internal, this line to get in into a more complex set of things right across the way. I can have it go across and go into like a holding area where there's three or four holding areas. And that will help me. And then I'll make um, the entry areas really long blocks, right? So that like they can handle like two or three trains worth of, of request. Really, I only need two trains for iron ingots. Nobody else is going to be requesting out of here because I think I'm going to direct feed every other type of ingot. I think the only other type I might need to um, use a train for is like Caterium or something like that. So I think I'm going to worry about that later. I think I'm going to worry about that later. Let's just start building this thing. So it's going to be input like this and then output out this way, kind of like Actually, that's the opposite of this one. The way this one works is is input over here, output this way. Which actually, we're going to turn that around. I should have turned all these around. Waiting, the train waiting is actually a better idea. Because when it leaves, it just goes, it just rolls out. There's no real reason for that track right there. I built those backward, to be honest. All right, so what we're going to do then is we're going to build... I think we build them right... Right, uh, is, it, is that the ping? We build them right there, I think. Let's go over here real quick. I'm just going to check where I built this other one. It's going to look basically like Steel Mill B over here. Um, and eventually I might have to change Steel Mill A because it's really designed backward. So I left one full foundation from the opening. Okay, So let's do that over here too. Let's just get those train stations in. Because the train stations are going to tell me where I need to put, like, the floor holes and stuff like that. So let's get that going, and that's right here. We want to say, where is this station going? Oh, I have no steel. Um, oh, that's right, I upgraded all the stuff. And now it needs different materials. That is so cool, man. Again, add that to the game. It's so cool. Make that not a mod. That's what I'd like them to do. I'd like that to just be baked right into the vanilla game. That's a sweet way to do it. Are these guys all backed up yet? No, and they've stopped. We have an issue. We have a problem. Look at Upgraded stations! Nice! Very nice, and I bet you were waiting on steel. Yeah, uh, nope, the trains are just sitting there. Alright, let's go figure this out. What's going on here? What is going on? We have no steel ingots coming in. Now, I fixed a problem yesterday. Did it not save my fix? Where we had coal coming in on this station right here. No, it's ingots. Okay, well, that looks good. And we can't tell if we've got ex extra or not. This should be flowing. I don't know why it's not flowing. Let's go down inside and see why this isn't working. Um, yeah, so in between uh, episodes, I had a problem with um, coal coming in where the iron ingots were supposed to come in. And obviously it jammed up all the, all the machines. So I had to go clear those out. So we might have the similar... Like, a couple pieces left over. But I sat there and watched it, and it was creating coal for, like, a long time. So I really don't know what's going on here. We don't have coal. We have no coal. Oh, I know why, dude. Dude. <laughs> dude, 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 Jude. <laughs> That's an old joke, if you didn't know that show. It's, it's a really unknown show. It's a cartoon. I'll give you hints. It's a cartoon. It was popular in the early 2000s, maybe mid-2000s. Anyway, I, I had extra coal I needed to feed in, so all we need to do 
is refeed this with, uh, and we'll use tier two for now, because I don't have my tier three belts up and running, so we're just gonna use tier two. But um, yeah, I had this excess coal and had to feed it. Uh, I had to get rid of it, so that's what we did. And now it's gotten rid of it, but it stopped up the whole operation here. Sweet. So that's gonna drain these guys out, which you can't. They're trying to load and unload, so you can't. I can't get in there. But that's gonna feed my whole system, and everything should be good. Let's go double check just to be sure. Then I'm gonna have steel flowing. The spice must flow. I know you know what that's from. Comment section, dudes. All right, so we should see it flowing. Yes. All right, let's go get some steel and upgrade these. Let's upgrade this whole whole thing. Well, why? Let's. Oh man. Uh, no. Let's just build a smeltery. I'm not gonna upgrade anything. We should be able to get. Wow, we don't have hardly any at all. Let's just get a couple stacks of steel uh, beam, and we only need like one or two stacks of this guy. So let's get another stack of steel beam. This should start flowing. The, the the spice should start flowing again. We actually have two of these, right? No, we only have one. We only have enough to do one currently. So we're gonna have to upgrade that. All right, let's get the smeltery in. We're really kind of running out of time. I think we have 30 minutes, 35 minutes maybe. I don't think we're going to get the whole thing in, maybe. Well, at least I'd like to get some ore requested. So we're going to re request the ore from the other station. We are going to need a train for this, because remember, the demand guys have the trains. They're the ones who have the trains, because that's where, when everything's good, the train sits at the demand station, because it's waiting to be unloaded, right? That's the whole point. That keeps it off our network. So let's get this in, and it's one away, right? So line it up with this, and it's three from there. I want to say that that is correct right there. All right, train. Good. Only need one. One, two cars. Because I'm only going to make two lines for now. Every time I add a line, I'm going to add another train, another ore cart here. Yeah, that's how it's going to work. Because each one of these just feeds a different section of the train. Alright, so this guy is going to go to... We can already edit this thing. He's First, he's going to start at supply or iron so I want you to go there you're gonna l unload and zero seconds because I don't care how long it takes then you're gonna go to demand well cut it off that must be the new one alright um, yeah I don't like that but it cut it off I think zero save save changes. Now I'm not going to turn it on yet. Let's um, figure out what this is called. It's, it didn't take. Oh, I know why. Enter. It needs the enter. It has a, a space, which you can't see, right? That's kind of obvious, I guess. It probably, yeah, it updated this by itself. So I'm going to turn on self-driving and we'll let it rip, and it's going to go get us a bunch of iron ingots, or iron, iron ore. Cool. Now we can get in here. Well, actually, let's build the rest of this, right? I sort of built that on the wrong side, but I think it's okay. Let's just use this space. I think I'm going to build them all on the same side. It just makes more sense. It's more, like, uniform then, and we are going to be removing... So we're going to go this way, right? We're going to be re removing all these. Let's put in four, even though we're only going to be using two, and then eventually three or something like that. Uh, there we go. Sweet. Uh, let's get some belt in there. No, that's the wrong one. I think this one is... Oh, wait, 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 wait. We don't... We can use um, the upgrade guys. Well, I guess we got to remove these now start over. Kind of wanted to upgrade him, but that's fine. 
All right, so let's change this, actually, to the industrial storage, because with trains, we're going to be using the industrial storage, not the regular ones. Because this is going to help us load and unload twice as fast, right? I'll show you how I'm going to do this. Oh, I can still do that, huh? Okay, that's good. Now, this is taking steel, which I'm totally cool with. I have a bunch of it now. Okay, box number two. The whole point to this is so that you can get items on and off the train very fast so the train can leave again. Because the train trip is what takes forever. Right? Alright, we've got all those belts. Let's use upgraded belt, actually. And I think... Mm, I'm not sure if we're totally ready to switch. I want to say we are. We're definitely ready to switch um, right here. Because these guys are going to need belt 3 all the time. Because we need to get it off there fast, right? So that's how you do it. That's double the output and get it off the train faster. So that the train can leave. One more time. And then we're only going to go on the floor with one Mark III. Alright, let's go, let's go get some more steel. We should have more steel beam coming in now. Yeah, you can see that we just went to get more iron uh, ingots, probably. It has to slow down a lot right here, but it's already got to slow down a lot anyway, so it's no big deal. Is that what we're getting? Iron ingots? It's hard to tell. Yeah, uh, no, we're getting coal. Okay, that works. Alright, so we've got more steel coming in. How much more? Not a lot. That's okay. That's plenty. That's like 450. That should be plenty at least. Oh, we got none of this coming in. Why don't we have any pipes? That's strange. Do we have only one side's getting... No, they're both getting steel. Let's check this. Did I make it? Sort of. Let's check this really fast. What's going on over here, guys? Okay, they're making pipe. Okay, here comes the pipe. It, that's what it is. Is it, it, it? There's a long, a really long belt up in the logistics area. I'll show you. Um, and it has to traverse the whole thing before it even gets to the train. It's kind of a, a big backup. See, that's finally getting there. But it's a, it's a pretty big line. It's coming from all the way to the other side of the building right there. All right, let's go check it out again. It's funny we build all these nice walkways and we don't use them because I can just fly. Yep, we're getting in pipes now. Not like we needed them. We have tons. There we go. Okay. We're almost at the time limit, man. Well, we got about what, what, we got 15 minutes or so. But we requested some ore. That's good. Got to get that logistics floor in, too. I don't have one in here yet. But first, let's put floor holes in. So they go right here. We're only going to do one, like we just talked about. Oops, that we're not gonna do that though. That's that's too close. Now I know Jesse, you were talking about there's a problem with the uh, old iron smeltery right now, but I don't really care because we're about to rip it out. So, <laughs> but duly noted, <laughs> Mark Two. Yeah, we gotta we gotta switch this one too. Hold on, let's switch this one to Mark Three, so it's just default Mark Three, and we're receiving. There we go. Nice. Receiving. I'm going to hook all these up so we never have to think about these again. There's only four of them anyway. There are, there are only four of them, so who cares. And receiving. Bam. Okay, now we've got stuff hooked up, at least. Let's make... with By doing this, we're going to make that logistics floor now. It just cleans up the flooring, man. I don't like all that stuff going all over the place. It just looks funky. So what I'm going to do is build out a certain distance. Because I'm not sure how far out I have to build to get, what was it, 27? Actually, let's do the math. We want um, 780 per minute divided by 30. 26. We need 26 smelteries in a row.
Okay, I think I figured out how I need to do this. Now, I did a bunch of other recording. I tried to set this stuff up, and it didn't work because I used my, overused the micromanager, and I got myself in the same situation I got into last episode where I was off the, the grid, and I couldn't line stuff up. So I think I found a way to do this. What I'm going to do is I start off by putting down a foundation, just like we already did. Put down a one-meter foundation. Right, take this one out, and then we're going to... Yeah, I think that's fine. That's not really how I did that, but that's okay. Then what I did, we don't need this, is I put in one of these guys. You can put him right in the middle, right? I'll show you what we can do with that. Now, what I can do, and I should have saved that, that's okay, is I can make one in the center. That's still on grid. See? That's the trick. So, I take this out, obviously. don't need that. And make a second one. And then I'm going to move those eventually. Okay? I'm going to move those. All I really need to do is get two of these guys inside of this wall, basically. That's what I'm truly trying to do. And I also did some um, beautification off camera as well, I thought. Well, I thought about this problem, okay? So now let's get to the smelters. And here's how I set it up. I got this guy kind of off-center, way off like this. Right, let's extend this foundation now, because I'm going to need it now. To show you what I'm... So, I now need to put multiple guys in here, right? And I'm going to do an offset pattern. Actually, that's something you wouldn't know. I want to offset these guys. That's going to give me more space. Because really what it is, is the, is the lifts are bumping up against each other. But if I offset them, the lifts will have space in between. So, I was like, ah, oh, okay. So, what I can do, to fit it in three squares, is to do it like this. See, it almost fits in there just perfect. Actually, yeah, it actually is right in the middle. That's perfect. Now, the lifts are going to look like they clip a tiny bit, and I'm kind of okay with that. But that's the setup. Those lifts should be inside that wall. These aren't going to matter because it's okay if they hang out a little bit. And now what I'm going to do is... Just for giggles, I'm going to... Oh, I can't build one here now. Why can't I do that? Sometimes this works and sometimes it doesn't. See, it's working just fine here. But if I try to do it here, it doesn't work. I can build another one. Oh, now it works. Okay, well, it's on grid anyway, so I really don't need either of these. Um, let's take the rest of this foundation out because I am going to have to micromanage this foundation. But I don't care where the foundation goes. That I don't really care about. So let's just deal with two foundations for now. Let's get this thing hooked up, and then I can micromanage it to my heart's con content and move on with my life, okay? Once I um, micromanage it, I can just build a whole bunch of foundation. Uh, so that's the center point, and I want it to be like right here. This is the splitter. This is going to bring the ore in, okay? That's about lined up, right, with the edge of the machine. And now I do my merger... And I want about the same thing. I want it to be kind of lined up. Let's just make sure it's going the correct direction. And that's about perfect, man. That is perfect. So we're going to set the same thing up on this side. Again, it's off-center, remember? See, there's the line for the other guy. And that looks about right. But it's on grid. That's why I can snap these in. Previously, and you didn't see this because I cut it all out, I was trying to line these guys up on the foundation, and they would snap to, to grid, and they'd be slightly off. Like It would be like this. And so it would look funky when you put the lift in and the belt would cro go crooked and stuff. It just wasn't working. So we are going to do it a different way. We're going to do it this way. Where it's still on grid, but it's going to be on. I'm just going to micromanage the foundation. There we go. There are the two that I want. Right? Now I can micromanage the foundation. I can just move it wherever I want and make it, look and make it support all the machines. Actually, it won't support all the machines. I only have to micromanage this one guy, right? That guy's supported. In fact, I could probably move him a tiny bit. So let's do that. Again, none of the machines, none of the, nothing really cares where this foundation is. The foundation is for looks, if you really think about it. Uh, let's do it. Ooh, that's that's a tough call. That's a no. I think it needs to go this way. Yeah, that's it right there. That's going to be it. Now let's do this guy. Pretty much the same thing as we did there, but he's going to have to move a little bit further. Right? 
It's for looks. And we are going to support these guys probably. Let me make sure that's about right. It's not going to be perfect, but that's okay. I am going to have to put supports. I do want to put supports at least in between these machines at some point. I'll probably have to do that on a live stream. So now what we'll do is we'll build out these foundations to our heart's content. Actually, first what I would probably want to do is I need... And I don't know if I did this calculation, but let's do it. 780 divided by 30 per... I need 26 smelters in a row to get a full line with a Mark V belt of ore coming in, right? So, and I think I, I'm not sure if I did that calculation early enough in my cut, so I did do it again right there. Okay, so I need 24 more machines to know how far out I got to go with this factory. So let's go 24 more machines. See, I'm going to have to go a little bit further. That's okay. I need to know where this factory needs to end up so I have enough space. I don't want the same problem I had last time, where I did not plan ahead. In fact, this guy is really... Well, he doesn't need to be drawn out, but it's basically a half smelter past that point. And now we're going to do nine of these smelters on each side, because um, we have Mark III built now. So, well, first we need to extend, the, extend this. One, two, th actually, let's extend this other side first, and then we'll know exactly where we need to go. If it will. Come on. There we go. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Right? It's going to have to go to about there. And it's going to have to go there as well with this guy. About the same. Let me just use the camera there. And then now I should be able to zoop this guy out. I mean, smart this guy. Ah, I need to flip him around. No, it still won't work. But I can just line him up with this. Oh, I can't. Wait, why? I did this off camera and it worked just fine. It won't snap to where the... No, I think it snapped. That looks right. Now I'm just going to... Do this out eight more. Now, we are clipping through this guy right here. That's okay. I'll, I'm going to remove him. It's really just so I can fly. Okay, we're good. That's exactly where I want it to be. Now I just have to put in all the other stuff. And before you do that, let's look at where this is going to be. I don't need a Mark III. Let's just do a Mark I. Look at that. Actually, we have space. I could have moved it, but I'm not going to move it because um, it'll be off-grid. Remember, that's kind of why we did that. And I've learned my lesson. Okay, sweet. Let's take this guy out. We don't want that guy actually in there. I'm not going to put any more lifts in there because we need to put the rest of the uh, dudes in here. Now, I would really like it if I could slap these guys in. That'd be really cool. And I need to flip it around. Oh, these are mergers? Okay, so it's got to be going that direction. Now let's see if I can do that thing. That looks right, because it's on that line. These look like they're already doing it. Nice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We need eight of these. <laughs> That's so cool, dude. Dude, 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 SpongeBob, dude. Dude, oh, dude, SpongeBob. <laughs> I love that guy, that surfer guy from SpongeBob. This is all, oh, dude, like all the time, like that, like a surfer guy. I don't know, it's just funny. All right, let's do the same thing here. Now, I think what it's doing is it's measuring the distance between my previous splitter, or maybe it's that way for you guys, and it's just saying, hey, you probably want him at the same distance. No, it's not. We need to add more distance. That's not it. Well, mm, hmm, smart mod. We can just do the key map. Spacing, P. Twirl, levitation, steps. It might be steps or spacing. So I'm going to try P first. And then I can try U if that doesn't work. But I'm pretty sure it's P. Because U actually moves it a different way. I actually changed it. Um, okay, so that guy's in line. Now this guy's in line. Okay. Now if I do this, and I do P... Do I have to hold it? 
No, it's just going now. Oh, there we go. Okay, that looks good. That looks right. And now I should be able to go back to you. Actually, I don't have to hold it. It's actually holding, so I don't have to hold any hotkeys. That looks right. What is it doing over here? Why is it trying to build right there? That's that's not what I want. Well, I don't really care about that. Just place all the splitters, bro. So let's go like this. Nope. Seven, eight. Now, we're going to have to pick up this belt because it's wrong. But that's pretty dope. Man, that's cool. I mean, you can't do that with splitters, but who cares? Again, this belt is funky. That's okay. It saves me lots of time, so I'm cool. We are going to need tier 3 belt down here, though. So it was correct in trying to do that. This mod tries to put it uh, the highest tier belt in possible. Oh, man. That means upstairs with my foundry. Or upstairs. The other building with my foundries. When I want to upgrade the belt, which I don't think I ever have to do at the machine like that. Nah, we should be fine, actually. I was going to say I need space to do the upgrades. Okay, that's cool. Those are in. Now let's go to the other side, I guess. We want this guy, and we want him right here, right? Where's the machine? This should be right. Yeah, see? And it's correct. Yep, see, the merger's correct. Now we're going to go boom. No, we want Y. So it's not far enough. Let's do P. I don't know if that's correct. Let's just go look. That looks right to me. Yep, that looks right. All right, let's duplicate that, guys. Let's let's roll with it. Just run with this one. Eight. Biggity bam. This is why you need mods in your life. Really, just quality of life, buddy. It's not to cheat. <laughs> it's this is not cheating. It's I don't want to build this 50 times and line it all up 50 times. All right, let's do spacing. Man, that spacing thing is a lifesaver. That is pretty much right, and it looks like the belt is going to be correct on this. All right. Uh, nope, nope, nope. Eight. Boom! Yeehaw, Jester's dead. That's totally lined up right. All right, boom, man, that's awesome. Now I just have to do lifts. I don't think there's a, a way to do that. There might be. <laughs> I'm going to try it. All right, let me try this. Watch this. All right, now watch this. Um... No, it doesn't do it. Smart doesn't do this. That's okay. Let's just do that. Let's just get it in there. Without floor holes, this thing is like, yeah, I can do this, guys. I got this. Man, this is like the easiest build I've ever done because of this smart mod. Now, doing the inside ones is going to be a lot of fun, a.k.a. it's not. Will it just do it? Yes, but look, it's clipping. It's clipping with that foundation. I could move this back a little bit. I'd have to rip that whole thing out to do it. I've got a little bit of space. Like one click back, I think. It's easy to do. Why don't I just do it? All right, cool. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're just gonna rip. We're just gonna start ripping. Okay, got it all ripped out. <laughs> Where's the camera? <laughs> got it all ripped out. Let's see if I can just move this guy a tiny bit. Let me put him here. Right next to his buddy. And, uh... Let's move him back. Well, that's that that's too far. That That's going to run into a wall. For show. Faux show. Uh, m maybe not. I mean, maybe not, right? Let's try it. Alright, let's flip this around. It'd probably want to be right there. And, yeah, that's going to run into the wall. Just barely. Hmm. It's too big of a movement. Is there a better way? Why is it doing that? Just make it correct. There we go. If you do that, it's just like too big of a step. Right? Actually, no, it won't. No, it won't. Because I'll offset these two. 
This is going to be over here. So it's going to have space, dude. Nice. Okay, okay. Um, that means we're going to have to rip the foundations out. I forgot about that part. Let's just do that real quick. I don't need to spend uh, get off camera for that. The one thing I do need to do is make sure it doesn't do that because it's my flying. There we go. All right, so that is going to be how we do it because I bet you this is not going to clip. Let me just move this real quick, real quick. Do, 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 do. Just go like that. And I like it. It looks really nice. Take this out because we need to move this stuff now. We're going to redo that. Put this in. Just do it all the way out. We don't have to. We're not going to smart that one. We're just going to do it by hand. All right. Now, I did notice that when I put the mergers in with with Smart, it actually moved it. It was not on target, and I think that was my fault. So let's try to get this in on target, okay? Now, I can't see the damn line. Where? Line up, dude. It should be about right there, but I'm not seeing a, a, a green line. Did I make the, do these backwards? No, those are correct. You don't have to do it like this. But then it won't go in there. Like that. Is that right? Yeah, that looks... Ugh, I don't know. Can we go one over? Yeah, that'd be actually right. Because if I go one over... No, actually, that's right. So why don't we do this? Let's put the second guy in. Right? We'll do the second guy, and then we'll just back it up one. Now, I should be able to just do this. Again, I'm not getting any lines. There we go. And now when I do it, I'm guessing that it's going to do it for me. Where are the lines? Where are my lines, man? Oh, I don't have any... Okay, you need smelters first, dude. Alright, you need seven of these. There we go, seven of them. God, I love that mod. Smart is the best mod there is. Smart is if you if I only had one mod I could use, it would be smart, for sure. Faux show, dude. That's actually correct. So why don't we do this? Two, three. Okay, we need five of these. No, that's only seven. We need seven of them. Now we need splitters. Right? And we need to have them in line with that, but probably about right there. Let's make sure that's right. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Now we need them really in line with this, right? So we need to do Y. But we, now we need spacing. Oh, you can see that the white lines. See how they're lining up? So I don't even need to go look over there. Nine. Oh, that's too many. Eight. Perfect. Now we got to take these out like we did. I, and I would leave them there to make sure that this is correct first. But... I'm gonna. I'm just gonna take them out because if I if I uh, don't, I'm gonna forget. I'm the king of forgetting. I do it right then or write it down. That's how that's how my brain works. I've been doing that since about 2000. So 22 years of that. Yeah, yeah it's kind of sticking in there by now. These have more space. I'm a little concerned. Oh, you know why? This these are close. These are close closer in. I bet you it's the it's the merger really. The merger is closer in. This one sticks out. You know, I'm kind of fine with it sticking out, honestly. Let's reline those. Oh, man, that's going to be a lot of work. Nah, it won't take that long. That's better. That looks more ac yeah, that's more that's more close to what we've got. I think it's the foundation that's slightly different. So this one barely touches the edge. So does that one. I don't know. I don't know. Let's just leave it. I think it's good. Let's get this build done. We only have like ten minutes. So let's get the rest of the belt in. Let's go mark three. I don't know where we're gonna need it and where we're not, so we're just gonna do mark three for the whole thing. And then, yeah, we're going to send all the uh, ingots down to the other end because that's where we're going to deliver them to the train. We're going to have three trains of ore, 
and then three trains, and I think this already has them all, but I'm just double checking. Three trains, well, one train of ingots. We don't need trains of ingots for the other guys. Oh, okay, it built these. Nice. Okay, cool, we don't have to do all that. Let's just get the last of these guys right here, and I think it built these too. Yeah, it built all these, except this one. Cool. Now all we need to do is drop, do some drops right here. And these will be on grid too, so that is like extra perfect. Want it to be right there. Look at this, man. This is pro. Uh, we're not going to be able to do it as accurate on this one. How did I do the other one? I think I did it right there. Is that... Yeah, that's the same. And let's just get the drops in now. I love it. Look how beautiful this is, man. God, this is beautiful. A lot of times this makes me want to rebuild everything, though. <laughs> yeah, that fits right in! That's okay. We can't do it with this side, but that's all right. This still looks, this still looks pro. All right, now we need all of these dudes. Let's start at the end and work our way back. Oh my God! Look at how beautiful that looks. So please, if you're new here, please subscribe and, and uh, hit that bell notification. I make videos every day, 10 a.m. when they come out, 10, 10 a.m. Pacific. And uh, if you could like the video, that does help. If you, if you do like it, like it so I know that you like it, okay? That's really, that's really what that button's for. But it does help, you know, the channel grow and everything, and I appreciate it. Uh, for this, we're going to have to rip a little piece out. Mm, no, we won't. We're going to have to just put in the line right here. Right? We gotta send this all the way down and then put it into the trains. Let's make sure it's on that it's correct here. Because we don't want another problem where uh, we're off and have to rebuild the whole thing or half the thing or whatever. Uh, we need more. We need more of these. MORE! We're gonna need... Now we know where the floor hole is going to go. It's going to go right there ish. Right? It's going to go about right there. Well, let's just draw this out. So I'm standing right on where it's going to go. It's going to go right there. So now if I draw this guy down, he's going to be receiving. And biggity bam. So there's that one. Let's go get another one. We have only a few more minutes. And bam. Now it'll go upstairs. And we have the floor holes in and the lifts in for that too. We don't have power set up, so let's do that. All right, so these guys are hooked up now. All they need to do now, all we have to do is go up here and route some ore. So let's do that. I put some doors in. I did all this stuff off camera. Put this in. Uh, now I just need floor hole. Actually, we have floor holes. This is ore. And they're almost exactly lined up, so we're going to have to be kind of careful. What I'm going to do is leave some space for running around right here and just go over this way. We're going to go five... 
max speed here. Bring it down. Actually, this guy's going to go straight to that guy. And this guy... Uh, well, we're going to have four more right here. How's that going to work? That's a problem. These are going to have to move. Let's took these up. We're almost done. And we're about out of time. Hmm. I would like the first one to be hooked up with the first one and all that kind of stuff. So, we're going to do it that way. So, this one's just going to go like this. And then the second one is going to go like that. The rest of them are going to kind of have to do the same thing. Uh, we're going to need lifts on this side, too. Oops. Yeah, he's going to turn in, and this guy is just going to go direct. Like that. I'm starting to run out of light in my house here. Can't really see. That's good. Same thing with this, I bet you. Boom. Okay. Now we're getting ore. Now we're getting ore. <laughs> Let's go figure out why we're not getting ore. Alright, gotta go around the whole thing. That's fine, though. We gotta put a cover on this, too. Why aren't we getting ore, guys? So hold up. Wait, wait. I have unsorted inventory that's bugging me. Alright, where's the train? We sent it on its merry way. Where is it? Is that it? What train is this? I wish you would tell me which train that was. Did I send it to the wrong place?